September 10, 2001, the day before the attacks. This is an important point, because it raises the question of how and why the 9-11 Truth Movement has been led to endorse massively the outrageous inside job thesis without even considering the more likely thesis of an attack by a foreign power acting under an Islamic false flag. And what foreign power but Israel would do that? Of course, the two dissenting theses do not necessarily exclude each other, at least, no one incriminating Israel denies that corrupted elements from the American administration or deep state were involved. The passionate attachment between Israel and the U.S. has been going on for decades, and 9-11 is one of its monstrous offsprings. I can think of no better symbol of that reality than the marriage of Ted and Barbara Olson. Ted Oslan, after having defended Bush in the disputed 2000 election, had been rewarded with the post of Solicitor General. He also defended Dick Cheney when he refused to submit to Congress and Ron-related documents. Barbara was a famous CNN reporter, but before that she was born Barbara K. Brocker of Jewish parents, educated at Yeshiva University School of Law, and hired by the legal firm Wilmerhale of which Jamie Dore like a future member of the 9-11 Commission, was also a member, and whose clients include powerful Israeli firms like Amdocs, a digital communication company charged with spying for Israel in the United States. On September 11, 2001, Barbara Olson allegedly was on flight AA-77, from which she made two telephone calls to her husband. Her calls were reported on CNN in the afternoon, and contributed to crystallize some details of the official story, such as the box cutters used as only weapons by the hijackers. Repeatedly invited on television shows after 9-11, Ted Olson frequently contradicted himself when questioned about the calls from his wife. In a 2006 report, the FBI identified only one call from Barbara Olson, and it was an unconnected call lasting zero seconds. Like all other reported phone calls from desperate passengers, including the famous, Hi, Mom. This is Mark Bingham. Barbara's call was simply impossible, because the technology required to make high-altitude phone calls was not developed until 2004. 9-11 was made possible by an alliance between secret worshippers of Israel and corrupted American elements. The question is, who, of the two, were the masterminds of this incredibly daring and complex operation, and for what higher purpose? Another question is why do those who keep repeating as a mantra, 9-11 was an inside job, ignore totally the compelling evidence pointing to Israel? In other words, to what extent do they constitute a controlled opposition intended to cover up for Israel? Asking this type of question does not mean suspecting anyone who defends an erroneous or incomplete theory of being a hypocrite. Most people defending one theory or the other do so sincerely based on the information to which they have access. I have 